Hey, me, Grandpa. Like what you see? Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe then. Please touch my furs. Piss baby? What am I reading? Let's take the puppy. The little puppy. So I have to find the coffin here. Uh, that's it, right? Not hurry. Arcana's yes. Okay. Goodbye, bit rate. I don't have that many good Arcana. Honestly, healing is doubled. Recovering HP damages nearby foes. And it shows you like the synergies on the bottom. So I think that actually synergizes with the dog somehow. But I don't really understand how because the flowers don't really explain. Wait, where's the coffin? Oh, it's up top. This sounds like an overcooked song or something, isn't it? Where's Grampy? I don't know. Bubby! Grandpa! Can I even get like an attract orb, you think? <gasps> Here he comes, chat! Here he comes! I don't know what I want. <gasps> Hello! Did you hear me calling? Hello, handsome! We need to take a Grampy break. Yes, we do. He's such a good boy. He's so handsome. Does he understand some words like food? He knows, I think, one phrase. And he knows, like, the kisses means, like, comes he come here, kind of. Like, that means come here. Let me see. It's kind of cruel because he I think he associates this with dinner. But it's the way I say it. I'll give him some treats if uh, he does fall for it. Grampy, are you hungry? Huh, Grandpa? Are you hungry? <laughs> Grampy, don't embarrass me. Are you hungry? I don't think he fell for it. Oh, wait, he's getting up. Here you go, Grampy. You have a treat anyway. You're a good boy. So at feeding time, that's usually what I say. And he usually starts to get, like, really excited when he hears me. Usually. Not all the time, apparently, now. I guess because he knows it's not near feeding time? I don't know. Maybe it's more so he just associates the time with it, huh? Guns! I need tiramisu now. Gar... Gar? Gar. Cross? Gar. Are these things hurting me? They are. Um, uh, Candle? I feel like the armor looks different now. None of these are good, right? I need the heart for garlic. Oh, I don't know. Is there an evolution for the flowers? And if so, can someone tell me what it is? Candle scale garlic radius? Yeah, it does. Either way, I take the, uh, the candle for now. I don't know if the flowers have an evolution yet. They might. They said they added some. Celestial dusting. This is my music. This is from the game. Is that a boss? The skeletons are dancing. Oh, uh, what happened? Axe? Axe is fine. What are these candles? I'm scared. I'm leaving. Least vampire music ever. What? what? Why? Because it's not like a fucking harpsichord or something? You know, you shouldn't stereotype vampires, Guzzle. They have feelings too. They don't all listen to Evanescence and Limp Biscuit.
for the monster mash. Yeah, maybe some of them they want to listen to, you know, Miley Cy. Wiki doesn't have the flower evolution yet. It could still exist now. Uh, I need to save room for the other gun. I don't love these. Is that a roll? Uh, maybe I banish a baddie here. We lose the level. Hello? There we go. I just don't feel like doing a pentagram. Lightning ring, I guess, was a possibility. I don't have, like, real reasons for making these choices other than I'm trying to do something that feels slightly different from what I normally do when I play. Bam. I got an email from the person who created Beat Invaders, that game I covered very briefly. And it's like, thanks so much for playing. I got an update. It's like, cool. They just seem so nice and grateful. It's lovely to hear. Too bad it went straight to my spam folder and they actually sent it two weeks ago. I still said thanks though. <laughs> Google really can't tell between spam and not spam, I swear. Spinach? It's kind of fine. We'll want it, right? Uh, will I? I don't know. Vampires like soft rock because it's very low stakes. The cat is one of the new ones, gotcha. Like, it could have at least made, like, what's a vampire's favorite kind of steak? And then it's like, none or something? I don't know. Cats evolved with a mask, stone shard mask or something. The cats were pretty good already, I think. Why is the coffin, like, all the way to the right? Wait. What is going on? How do I get over there? Okay. How hard attract orb? No. Chat. What's happening? No clock lancet. Saw it. Oh, it's in the fireplace. I can't go in. Go through a mirror on the left side? What? Now I have to kill these, but I'm probably like too low leveled. Wait, do I just avoid all enemies now? That might be bad. If I leave, can I come back? Ah! Ow. One. <laughs> Ow. Two. No, 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 no. This is a little bizarre. I probably shouldn't be doing this. 
I should probably go back and farm XP to make these things easier. In fact, how am I even going to hit these things at this rate? They're like off screen and shit. All right, can I leave and come back? Uh-oh. No! <sighs> we can't go back, chat. Hey, UV, what's up? Thank you for the five months. What happened to Vampire Stars? Why are you a goat? What? Oh, I'm a doggy. I'm a puppy. Yeah, I got a reset. Yeah. Oh, a reset? Did it? Oh, it did. Okay, 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 okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine, chat. All right, let's get some XP before we go back. Praise. I knew it. We'd be fine all along. Grampy, bless the run. We can't fail. Hmm. Santa water looks different too. I wonder why they're changing the icons semi randomly. I really want the second gun. And I still need Tiramisu, the heart. So we could take Santa water and look for a tract orb now. It's fine. It's bath water. It is not bath water. Konami probably came after them. Hey, maybe they were using assets from other games. I don't know. I can't wait for Konami to come out with their own version of this, basically. Because it's basically the same thing as gambling, does it not? Is it not? It feel it has the same feeling as like playing a slot machine a little bit. Tiramisu godlike. Tiramisu good. Can't argue with that. It's the gooch. You gotta have that nice like it's got like, it usually has the coffee flavor, right? I'm not that's not like a special tiramisu, right? Well, I finally had a tiramisu wedding cake. It's delicious. No, we need to save oh these are bad. So banish the whip. Pressed Oreo bits at the bottom. Oh my god, yes. Something about Tiramisu feels better than... Let's get the dupe. Than, like, the average, like, white cake with chocolate frosting or something like that. Like, I just don't like the average cake. Like, a cakey cake. You know what I mean? There's the Puma Roll. Like a plain old, I don't know what you even call it, like angel food cake or something like that. It's just uh, with the big heavy frosting. Ugh. What do the flowers do? I guess they hurt enemies. I think they have some kind of healing mechanism too, but not fully on top of it. Gotta save our last slot for the gun. The other gun. Whip is better than garlic, though. Well, I can't replace the garlic now, can I? Plus, that is also subjective and not, not, not very true. Give me the tome. No, can I do the tome? I the last slot would be tiramisu, which means that I, I actually can't really do the tome because I need. I don't have to evolve everything, but I really want tiramisu and a tract orb, and I think those are pretty important. This might be the first run in a long time where I haven't gotten an empty tome. No fire wand. Give me that. You can go kill those guards yet? I'm not so sure. I guess I'm not really in a rush for the coffin. We're not at 10 minute mark, so I think I can take this. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I think it might just be dead here, honestly, at this rate. 
I'm gonna try to shoot my flowers out my butthole here. Spinach. Sure. Run away. Daddy needs that healing. Maybe I go to the coffin and try to crack it now. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. More uh-ohs. Because I think I won't get the enemies. Okay. Plans for the game to be on console? It's still early access, so who knows. I don't think they've really discussed it. I think they can't really discuss console development on games because of, uh... NDAs or something like that. I think. The Soldier Boy console. The hell was the deal with that anyway? <laughs> All right, there we go. New character, I guess. You can run on a browser. It seems like it's it. The way it plays is suitable for mobile, but it doesn't seem very good. Conchetta Cachion. Wow, I can't. I'm not even gonna try. Hey, they got a guitar. Cool. Oh boy. How long until death? Hmm. Nope. Isn't that red? Defeated enemies might drop hearts. Very good. Duplicator also good. No tiramisu. There's a track door for the Santa. There's tiramisu. I still need the other gun, though. Sued by Nintendo. Oh, yeah, was it? Start leveling that up. There's the other gun. Wow. Kind of lucky, to be honest. All right, we got lots of healing now. Wait, what did the console even have to do with Nintendo, I wonder? I don't think I can evolve anything, but I'm also very far, so saving the chest doesn't seem to make sense. Gotta cease and desist so fast. That's like when I, whenever I hear someone like hyping up some kind of like homemade remake of a game, of like an old Nintendo game, it's like, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. It had bootleg SNES games on it. <laughs> That's so like, he didn't even try. I mean, it probably got some articles made about him. Uh... Oh, whoops. I have display on. That's right. I'm not even going to explain it. I'm not even going to explain it. Let's to grab this, honestly. Oh, right, it's, uh, Darkana. Gives three revivals. I always like that. Listed weapon projectiles. Gain up to three bounces. Might pass around enemies and walls. That's kind of insane with the guns, isn't it? I have axe guns. That's it. But the it doesn't show the evolved guns, which concerns me. That's useless. How good is Curse of the Dead Gods? Recommended someone that loves Hades. Uh, sure, it's pretty good. It's pretty nice. It's hard. It doesn't have as much variety, but um, yeah, it's a nice game. Once you start getting up the difficulties, it gets a little insane. I would almost say, like, I wouldn't really correlate it to Hades. Like, it's not much like Hades. Maybe if you prefer the combat of something like uh, a Souls game, you might like it. <laughs> the curse system just kind of, like, winds up... You, you kind of realize, like, the curses practically don't matter eventually. And or they're actually good, potentially? Let's try to get the guns topped off. Although, I'm probably very far away. There's no story. 
Is there no story? I can't remember. It's been so long. It felt like they kind of told us a little something during the ending, but uh, I think I think you're right. If you want something that actually feels similar to Hades, at least in terms of combat, Warm Snow is the go-to. Warm Snow has some flaws, though, but it's still a pretty nice game. Skull, Rogue Legacy 2, your favorites right now? Nice. I kind of wish I kept up with the updates on Skull, but I didn't. Because I got a lot of updates since last time I played. Maybe even DLC, but I'm not sure. If you just want, like, a good game that recently came out, there's Rogue Legacy 2 or Rovita. Those are the ones I'd recommend that just kind of came out recently. Try to get something evolved here soon. I kept refusing to. Yeah, it's, sometimes it's harder to just pick, like, what game am I really going to seek my teeth into? Like, I stream... Streamed, like, 30-ish hours a week. Now it's a little more, but... Now it's like, what, with such limited time, it's like, what do I choose to focus on? It's kind of hard to pick when all the games I play are like these tiny indie games and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Bum, 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 bum. Santa. A lot of people on Twitch I watch seem to love Revita, but the Steam reviews are so down on it. Strange. It's really strange. The dev has popped in a few times. They were kind about it. They had some good jokes, too. <laughs> I think people just didn't like the idea of it. Once they realize that the idea is, you know, like, you, your health is your currency, they're just like, what? But there's so many games that really already have that, when you think about it. All right, well, Santa water can be evolved. All this healing. All right, what's coming up next? All right, guns, I think, are done. I didn't look at the actual boxes, though. Kind of don't want to get Garlic Day because I don't want to evolve that first. We sometimes address. You don't have to choose just to sink one. Right, you're at, even Isaac has the devil deals and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can get by by just kind of minimalizing what you take, I think. That's the thing, like, it's so common in Isaac, it's weird to see people hung up on the fact that you use your health as currency. Like, you just do that all the time in games like that. Hunter I think I took the healing one more of as a joke, honestly, at one point. And then I did... A revival one. I don't have a lot of Arcanas right now. Hall Knight? Love Hall Knight. I have some, uh... I have a YouTube playlist of it. We're doing the randomizer. I do not respect not recommending reviews if you have more than, like, 15 hours in the game. Yeah. It's the same thing. Like, I don't care for your review if you have, like, a, a, quite a bit of hours in the game. But it's a negative. Like, you see the people with, like, 300 hours, and they're like... I can't recommend the game because they nerfed my favorite build. It's like, shut up. You know what I mean? Shut up. And then you got, uh... Then you got the people that have 0.1... point one playtime for the hours. And they... In their comments, it just says, nah. <laughs> Why even leave a review at that point? Seven hundred hours of Fall Guys, and his review was terrible. Game, do not recommend. <laughs> Axe is close. I need a chesty. Are you a boss over there? I'm getting slowed down by that mage or whatever. Let's do a tractor for now. 
Feels like I'm, uh, I just can't get me a chest. Candle. Tract orb. Trying to line up that dude. I see like a mage. I think I'm hitting it with the guns. Maybe they'll drop a chest, although I'm not sure. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, they did. Thank God. Took a while. See, makes it makes you think you kind of have to leave review. Truly? All right, now we're on easy street for sure. All right, and I got a new thing. Uh, we can do lightning ring if I want to evolve it. Sure, just level the garlic. Oh, or I can do fire one. Sure, that's fine. Why not? You've never left a Steam review yourself? I started doing them a bit more, especially for games that I felt like really strongly earned it and stuff like that. I've really only left a, maybe a couple of negative reviews, but I definitely left a couple dozen positive reviews. I have to feel pretty strongly about the game. I tried to recommend this. It's not obvious you can just close the window. Interesting. I never thought about that. Loot River? Loot River I chose not to leave a review for. Although you, you might say that my video review is more damaging. <laughs> for the game in itself. I figured I did that enough. You know, and the Steam reviews are already pretty bad. I guess. I don't know. I decided not to waste my time. I, I don't know if I left a review for Revita yet, but I should. I definitely have enough. I have enough playtime to definitely warrant it at this point, I'd say. Oh, crap. I guess I charged it a little too full on there. These things ain't dying. Hmm. Yeah, I try to push that. Devs come to my stream. Great game, 10 out of 10. There was a game, there was a, at least one time that game non-guns just didn't hit for me. The devs popped in. I was just kind of like, interesting game you got here. Don't recommend nowadays. It wasn't like the worst thing, but it was just kind of bizarre, the whole thing. I'm trying to think of another game where I didn't really like it, but the dev stopped in. Hmm. I think it has happened, but I don't know if I can recall. I think I left a negative review for the game Tunch, even though I probably had like 20-ish hours in the game. But I think it's because the flaws didn't really start popping out till a little bit later. Like, it, it wasn't fun hours I spent in the game. That first person game. Oh, Myth Force? That's early access at least. But yeah, that one wasn't great. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. The devs popped in. You're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Peglin to launch 1.0 next week? No way. No way. It's only been in early access for like a month. If it does, that's early. Concerningly early. Hmm. I played weirder games. I definitely played some weird games. We don't we don't talk about a uh, COVID simulator on the stream. It's actually banned. There was some some pretty bad roguelike game. I just tried out on a whim and stuff. Return to Gunwitch. That one was funny. Get out of my way, Skellies. I 
I don't know if we really win. I haven't done this stage that much. What happens if I go back through the mirror when things get dicey? Seems like kind of a possible strat. The horror roguelike? I played a horror roguelike? Oh, wait, there was a mid subway, midnight train, midnight subway, subway to midnight. That one was just bizarre. I would call it bad, but not like negative review bad, probably. Not that one. Nah, I never tried the ziggurats. I think when the second one came out, it was around this, like I was still playing Gunfire Reborn, so I decided not to. Hey, Spoonie. And they look similar, you know? Been enjoying Children of Morta? I would, I would honestly like to find out what I was missing in Children of Morta, because they just never hit, hit for me. I couldn't get it going, and I tried for several hours. The one where you look for items to progress through. Oh, golden light. Golden light. That's probably the weirdest game I've ever played. And it almost seemed like kind of unique, but then it just became like really obvious. Like all, the whole goal of the game is just to find keys or something. It was just kind of weird for the sake of weird in a lot of ways and just wasn't right. Recommend some weirder ones. Honey Pop 2 is not weird, okay? It's a popular game. You mean that? I think everything's evolved. Oh, wait, never mind. Let's see. Projectile speed can continuously change between negative 50 to plus 200%. I don't think it affects the gun evolution, so Iron Blue Will doesn't work. It only works on literally one weapon, so probably the speed one? I don't know. Something like that. Crown Trick? Crown Trick wasn't weird. Do you have any game where you expect it, expected it to be bad or meh, but it turned out great? Peglin, maybe? A little bit for Peglin, because I tried it when it was a demo alone first, and it really surprised me because probably 9 out of 10 demos I try are pretty terrible. <laughs> They're pretty bad usually. So yeah, that was a pretty that was pretty surprising. Uh I don't know if I can really think of any other big ones really where my expectations were quite low. Hmm. Uh, Vampire Survivors, actually, for sure. Easy. Because that's an easy one, actually. This one actually is true for that, too. My expectation... I mean, when you look at the art, the cover art on Steam for this game, and you know it's only $3, and the title's Vampire Survivors, it's kind of like, uh, uh, I don't know about this kind of thing, you know? Have a nice death. Should I wait for it? I, uh, it just had an update, like, today. Um, it's pretty good, but I think it's not necessarily for a lot of people still because there's not really any permanent progression still, I think. I'm not certain what the update holds, though. I would say just wait for some updates and we can give you better opinions later on. It's a, it's a really beautiful game, and I think the combat's still pretty good. Hi, wife! How are you, honey? Welcome home. Oh yeah, you have your surprise. Yes. Uh, do you want to come back at the end in like 10 minutes? Is that okay? Huh? huh? No, you're... Yeah, they know. Oh. I'll just finish this real quick. Like 10 minutes. Oh. Well, yeah. Wife has a non-surprise to show chat because I already brought it up several times. Inscription? Inscription was a really weird game, but it made sense in a weird way, and it would like you could follow it. It was also amazing, wasn't it? Scourge bringer? No, I haven't tried that one.
Is the build this good or is Dan not that low res? I think I might not have, because of no empty tome maybe, I don't have as many projectiles it looks. Negro reviews for Pegalin are so strange. Do these people not know the game is early access? It's been covered by so many content creators that I think it might... People probably think that it's like a finished product kind of thing. I don't know. Did I ever try Inscription after they added the mod? No. I keep telling myself to do it. I should, I should, I should. I should check it out. People kind of did the same thing Darkest Dungeon 2. I know, like, the first one was such a big hit, and then the second one came out, and everyone's pissed that it's not, like, the perfect game and stuff. I mean, it's okay not to like it and to be critical of it and stuff like that, but... I mean, you can voice your opinion and, and say, like, this is what they need to do better and stuff like that, but I don't know. Boom, 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 boom. I know Barb didn't like Darkest Dungeon 2. I know Barb, like, was really not having fun. Yeah, the first one went through a lot of drastic changes, yeah. I still vow that someday I'll probably end up playing Darkest Dungeon 1 on stream and or enter the Gungeon. Someday. Someday. Really did a breakdown how it can be improved, etc. It's early into early access, so yeah. It is kind of like interesting that they wanted to do early access again a little bit. It's up to them though at the end of the day. I mean, it helped the first one a lot. Like, people didn't seem to like it at first. Crab! It came out a completely different game, Darker Sunja 1. Interesting. Okay. Any good roguelikes on mobile? People talk about a game similar to this uh, called Magic Survival. It came out first and it might be actually more... Might be actually more fleshed out than Vampire Survivors. Maybe check out that. Oh, Slay the Spire. Yeah, Slay the Spire is always a good one. Dead Cells? I personally wouldn't want to play Dead Cells on mobile, but that's me. Oh, uh, Super Auto Pets is a good one. It's free too, Super Auto Pets. It's a bit more of a card game though. All right, can we survive this? I got the mirror to my left still. As like an oh shit. What's that tiny thing on my screen? Oh shit, I'm dead. That's Dead Cells Mobile. Right, right, right. You got Slave Spire and Sap already? Yeah, gotcha. Ooh, you already got some good choices then already. So you're good with card games, huh? Ooh, I'm not sure after that then. I guess I don't really know after that. The last mobile game I played was like I paid five dollars for like Dragon Quest 4 or something. <laughs> and I like played through it in like one day or something. Maybe it wasn't four. It might have been like two or three. I don't even remember. Are they ever going to do another Plants vs. Zombies, I wonder? The second one just didn't do it for me. Maybe it was because it, it was basically built as a mobile game with microtransactions and other crap. Maybe that's why. How do you win? Reach 30 minutes. Plants vs. Zombies died. Oh, what a shame. I love the first one so much. Why aren't I getting in the glove? I'm lazy. That's really all it is. It looks like we're fine. I don't feel like walking down forever. Tactics is also on sale in episode. Ooh, that's a nice one. Is it like a remake or...
You know what I tried was the Plants vs. Zombies card game. I never spent money on it, but it was basically Hearthstone. It wasn't bad, but it was just like they're trying to get you to buy card packs and stuff. Is the Ridge? I don't know how well the original has aged personally. What do you think? Is the original ported to mobile? The translation was so bad in that one. I love the game. I definitely got soft blocked on that one stupid solo fight. And I literally had to start a new save file. I got pissed. I was so mad. But the game was too good. Change my hat, you say? Scam. No, I'm just kidding. I won't do that to you. Ooh. Went back, played the Battle Network games, and holy fuck, the translation was so bad. I liked, I liked some of the Battle Network games. I didn't play them all. XCOM on mobile? Oh, that's probably a good one for that. Those Battle Network games were pretty, were pretty amazing. I just liked Mega Man, that's why I tried it, because I liked, like, the Mega Man X games especially. Oh wait, I wanted to try to hide in the mirror to see if that works. You think it'll work? <laughs> we win! <laughs> what do you know? No enemies, huh? The crying shame, that. I'm sure death still comes over here, though. Go ahead, be mad, chat. It was clever. Love those games that were your childhood favorites. I remember playing a lot of, like, Mega Man Battle Network. I'm thinking about Game Boy Advance. Mega Man Battle Network, Golden Sun. It was so good. Where's death? Either that or the trap got me. I have many reses to go through. Run away! I have no idea what's going on. GBA library is stacked. I don't see death. Oh, now I do. Fire Emblem? Yeah, they had some Fire Emblem games on there that were probably pretty gooch. Well, this isn't fair with the traps. Run away. Oh, no. How many more I got? Is that it? Nope. <laughs> I don't know what's going on anymore. Ah, uh, that's it. The end. Guns top damage, of course. Not really a surprise there. We got the coffin, so we got a new character. And stuff. Guns were an obvious one. Labora. Yeah, makes sense. The duster is not great. Garlic uh, isn't about damage, it's about the knockback, really. So, yeah, everything's about what you'd expect there. The duster provides healing, so I don't really know. You get emulators on it? That's true, you can get emulators on uh, your mobile phone pretty easily. You could get emulators on your phone 15 years ago, which baffled me. Like, I was so shocked. I had a Windows phone. I had a Windows sliding phone. And, uh, I managed to get, like, a Super Nintendo emulator on it with a full keyboard. With a full keyboard, it had. I might even still have that phone. 